This week's Torah reading is Parsha de Miketz. It gives the story of Joseph finally coming out of the prison in Egypt and becoming second in command, viceroy, to the King Pharaoh. And how does he get this prestigious position? He's able to interpret Pharaoh's dreams. Pharaoh had two dreams that bothered him night after night, not knowing what the interpretation was. And Joseph came along with the help of God and he makes sure he tells everyone it's God, not me. I'm nobody special. But interprets the dream to Pharaoh's satisfaction. And the dreams are about an incoming famine in the land and what needs to be done. And Joseph is appointed as the leader of the new government in order to make sure that Egypt has enough food for everyone. And it turns out to be a very successful plan in Egypt at this point becomes a great superpower. Because they're the only ones with the foresight to store food for the famine and ultimately everyone comes to Egypt to go buy food. That's very interesting because Joseph is a person who was in jail not too long ago, sold into slavery as we mentioned last week. And in a blink of an eye, he goes from the lowest of the low to one of the highest positions of power in the world. And this message is to show us that all of us, we should never give up where we are, never give up the place we are in life. Who knows, maybe tomorrow we could go from one place of place of unhappiness to a great place of leadership. <clears throat> we'll now continue with the singing of the Chadori, the song we sing Friday night, written by the great Rabbi of Shoma Alkabitz in the late 1400s. The Chadori lekras kala pnei Shabbos nekabela le Chadori lekras kala pnei Shabbos nekabela. Shamor v'zachor v'dibur echad Esh miyahanu kel ha-myuchor Hashem echad Ushmoho yachor L'shem osifer ez v'lesila Echad odi l'ikras kala Nehe Shabbos nekabela lekra Shabbos v'chuven elcha ki hi mekor haberacha meirosh mikedem nesucha tov ma'aseh b'machshav alchila lecha dodi lekra zkala. Nehe Shabbos nekabela mikdash melech ir melucha kumiti mitocha hafecha rav lo shevet v'yemekabocha v'hu yachamol alayichem la lecha dodi lekras kala Nei Shabbos nekabela hisnari meyafar kumi Livshi big day sefar techami al yaben yishai beisalachmi Karva el nav shigi yohala lecha dodi lekras kala Nehe Shabbos nekabela hesoreri hesoreri kiva horechu meyori uri uri shir dabering about Hashem alayich negla lecha dahodi lekras kala. Nei Shabbos nekabela v'hayulim shisa shahosayich v'rachaku kome v'halayich yosis olayich elokayich kem sozcha sona alkala lecha dodi lekras kala Nei Shabbos nekabela yamin usmol tehrosi v'yez Hashem daritzi al yad ben Yishai beis alach mi karva el nafshi gyalla lecha dodi lekras kala. 
Neshabos Nekabilava, we be shalom. Ataras Bala Gambari no Vitahala, Toka Mune Yam Segula, Bawi Kala, Bawi Kala, Leha Dodi, Lekras Kala. Later in the parsha, in the story, the brothers, Joseph's 12 brothers, come down to Egypt to buy food. As you mentioned, Egypt was the only place that was selling food. And the brothers come down, and they don't recognize Joseph, for at this point in time, it was many, many years since they sold Joseph, 22 years to be exact, they sold Joseph. And they didn't recognize he'd grown up, he had a beard now, but Joseph recognized his brothers right away. And Joseph wanted to see what his brothers realized, the mistake that they made, was obviously God had better plans for him than his brothers. His brothers sold him into slavery, thinking he was a nobody, thinking he was worthless, and here he is, second in power for probably the highest position in the world. And interesting how the story unfolds, and the brothers, they don't get the message. Because in their mind, there's no way they were wrong. There's no way possible that Joseph could be this great leader if Joseph was a nobody. And the story continues to unfold. Joseph tries to find ways to convince them for them to see on their own. He wants the brothers to recognize on their own that they made a mistake. Unfortunately, they don't do so, and Joseph has to reveal himself at the very end of the parsha, which is an important lesson to all of us that it's okay to make mistakes in life. Things happen all the time, but we have to understand that we do make mistakes. It's possible that we make mistakes. And as long as we recognize that there are mistakes that we do in our day-to-day -day lives and we're able to look back at them and say, you know, I made this error, I need to correct it, then we're in a good state. But if a person cannot look back and realize the mistakes he made, it's going to have a hard time in life to connecting and to really grow. We're now finished with the singing of Adon Olam. Adon Olam Asher Malach Betarem Kol Yitzir Nivra Lies Nasa Bechev Sokol Azai Mehalech Shemo Nikha Viyachare Kichlos Hakol Levahado Yimloch Nora Vuhaya Vuhove Lo yihye besifarah v'hoh echad v'yein sheni. Hamshilo lehach v'ira v'li reishis v'li sachlis v'lo ho'od v'hamitra v'hu keili v'chai g'wali v'tur chev li v'yeis nasa v'hu nisi u'manosli Minas kosi biyom ekra biyahado avkid ruchi. Iyais ishan biyahira biyim ruchi gibiyasi. Ado shem li bilo biram. And we have a happy and healthy week, a great weekend, a great Shabbat. We'll see everybody next week.